Yeah, man! Yeah! What's up, YouTube? What's going down? Yay, man! Alright, check it out, YouTube. Uh, I've got a couple of comments about my uh, subwoofer in my truck. A lot of people are saying, how'd you do that, man? Yeah. Well, I'm going to show you my makeshift sound system in my truck. Alright? We're going to start off with the subwoofer itself. Let me move the Qualcomm out of the way because it has become a shelf. What I got going on here is I have a Logitech uh, Z2300 sound system. I have the subwoofer without the speakers, okay? This is like a computer computer uh, system, computer speaker system, right? Um, this system here came with the sub, which is, I believe, an 8-inch sub. And um, it came with two little speakers for your for your work, for your desk, whatever. Uh, but um, years ago, I blew up the speakers somehow. I screwed up the inputs, uh, feeding. Uh, anyway, I got a subwoofer here, okay? A Logitech subwoofer with a controller, okay? It's electric, okay? For your house. So people are like, how the hell did you get that hooked up with the truck and blah, blah, blah? All right, well, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to show you how it's done. Oh, pay attention. Jeez. Ah, Tina eats Pam. Anyway, so obviously we got electric, right? I believe this is a 150-watt sub. I can't remember. I know that it's not that powerful, but Logitech makes some kick-ass subs. So anyway, let's start over here, people. I got a power inverter. Ah, right here. A little 300-watt power inverter, which is more than enough power. I got it plugged in. Bing! All right, and I just tuck it back here like yonder. All right. Plugged in. Power inverter. Now, yesterday I was telling you in my video that I was like, uh, it was getting old, it was blowing up. Well, I figured out, using my car audio skills, I was like, nah, this sub can't blow. I didn't, I don't push it that hard. So when I had the sub, the power inverter plugged into this outlet here, this is like a 5 amp um, outlet, cigarette lighter outlet. So I wasn't getting enough power to the power inverter to power the sub. So I was bottoming out. So I moved it down here. That's a 20 amp uh, socket, usually. That's how it was in my Freightliner. But I was getting, um, so I'm getting more juice out of that um, socket for the power inverter, hence more boomage for the subwoofer. Boom. Now, I'll show you how I hooked it all up. Since I didn't feel like tampering with the head unit and all that other crap, I made it work. Check it out. Pull this massive shitload of wires I got going on here. I gotta clean it all up. I haven't done it yet, but I'm working on it. Alright? So I got two, two devices of... Um, sound that I get from for my sound. I use my phone and I use my Sirius XM radio. So I gotta go out of my Sirius XM radio into the sub and into the radio at the same time. I have a splitter. Let me show you. Radio Shack sells them cheap as hell. So right here is the output for the sub. Right here is the output for the radio. So I just I just tuck all that crap in there. Right like chip. Right there. Yep. Now the output goes to this controller, which goes to the sub, and then I have the volume control for the sub, and I have volume control for the radio. So I in this truck I got four speakers. And two in the front, two in the back there. So it's great for surround sound. So I could do all treble, so sure. or I could do all bass. Let me show you just uh, how this thing uh, works. Let me show you. Oh crap! I'm falling. Ugh. Watch this. Where the hell? Ah. 
people use this. Check it out. 150 watt sub, I think. And watch me do the water bottle trick too. Uh, yeah. But it's enough for the truck. Spaghetti bowl of years in a polo lounge. Me and my chief from DC, that's how I roll around. Might look like, but we have it on. You can drink with pussy. Now, that's how I do it. And it's better than nothing. Now, granted, you know me. I wouldn't mind having a wall of subwoofers back here. You know, loud enough to make the doors go like this. But uh, I can't do that in here. So I got to deal with what I got. It's better than nothing. And it's, um, it's pretty, it sounds pretty damn good in person. Uh, so if you ever get to meet me, I'll give you a demo. <laughs> It'll be a crappy demo. But it's like I said, it's better than nothing, people. The sound system that came in the truck, the regular four little speakers, there's no bottom end at all. So now I got some bottom end to fill the aroma of sound. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment. Like my page. Subscribe to my page. Check out the Facebook page link at the bottom in the description. Let me know what you think, people. Comments. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. And uh, if you're a truck driver and like, damn, I should have thought of that. Well, now go out and buy a subwoofer and uh, some adapters and uh, make it work, people. Holla! Be breezy! Thank you for watching my show! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Bye bye bye!